This is video number two of my four-part video series of my in-depth review of Anton Creel's Professional Options Trading Masterclass. To get the best experience, be sure to start watching this video series from the beginning. Anton says 90% of the options courses out there are literally useless, specifically the ones given by ex-market makers. He wants to steer people away from certain educators with a certain business model for a reason. I will go over why later on. Video number four, an hour and six minutes and 49 seconds. He says payoff graphs are boring and theoretical and not particularly useful. In my opinion, he could have cut his explanations down significantly by using a risk graph. His page full of multiplication and division is really painful to watch. A risk graph, if understood, would have cut down the time in Antoine's course by about 70%. And in my opinion, if you want to understand options properly, it's well worth the time to understand options risk graphs. There are three ways an underlying stock can go, up, down, or sideways. And if you understand a risk graph, you can quickly assess what your option position will do in each of these three scenarios. I go over risk graphs in chapter nine of my book, A Portfolio for All Markets. Next, Anton goes over a call option definition and a put option definition. See link number two for more information. Anton only likes buying premium to try and get the big payoff. He does not understand that there's a built-in edge with selling premium. The edge is the difference between implied volatility and historical volatility. I go over this in detail in my book. I also go over this for free in video lesson number six of my Stocks versus Options series. See link number three for more information in the description. Anton goes over the advantages of buying an option, but does not go over the low probabilities of buying an option. See link number four for more info. He talks about the advantages, which are leverage, limited risk, and using less margin. He goes over margin and how it works with stocks versus options. He says the risk reward is better for put options versus call options because stocks can go up more than 100%. But he does not consider the skew, which puts a premium on puts versus calls. Video number five, which is over 56 minutes, goes over the disadvantages of buying options, which the last video link that I just gave you also covers. Video six is long calls and long puts, which is over 55 minutes long. And he goes over the time decay curve, which is shown for at the money options. And that's what he believes the time decay curve is based on but the out of the money options decay curve is vastly different. And it's an important factor that he failed to cover. And he was referring a lot to out of the money options when showing the decay curve. So he probably doesn't know the difference. He used the stock SLB as an example, and he missed probability, which is the most important factor when buying an option. He talked about time decay, which was pretty good. Uh, but you can get that information. See link number five for more information. And I actually take the opposite approach to options versus Anton. So then he goes over timing risk of the long option, which is the same as probabilities, but does not mention probabilities. Anton mentioned he likes to buy a long call or long put when conditions are favorable. But in reality, the calculatable probabilities show that those conditions are never favorable. Then he goes over the cost efficiency or liquidity or slippage and commission costs. And that's something I go over for free in my stocks versus options series video number one and two. See link number six for more info. Next he goes over black shoals and there's six key inputs and he talks about volatility as the only unknown variable. And he goes over the volatility effect on options. Go ahead and see link number seven for the info. Go to about six minutes into that video to learn more. Anton says to buy when you expect a big move in the underlying stock. 
The problem is that if there's going to be an event or catalyst, for example, an earnings report, it will be known by the market and it will be priced into the options. In fact, options are overpriced approximately 83% of the time according to research done from Tasty Trade. This means when you buy an option, you're getting a good deal only 17% of the time. Also, Anton preferred to pension funds making 20 to 30% per year and buying puts to protect them. Where can I get into that pension fund? Pension funds do not make those kinds of returns, and I would think that with all of his experience, he would know that. He recommends buying at the money options for a hedge, but they have the highest extrinsic value, which are the most expensive options in relative terms. This is a bad idea in my opinion. Video number seven, which is over 48 minutes long, is about selling a put. See link number eight for more info. Anton often mentions that the option strategies that he endorses all support his theory on picking an underlying stock's direction. You can learn his theory in his courses, and so far this course has not shown anything proprietary, so maybe other courses have some proprietary information. Anton goes over the generalities of dangers of selling naked puts. In chapter 9 in my book, A Portfolio for All Markets, I talk about the dangers of selling naked puts and I actually go over specifically why and how this is so dangerous. Again, he does not mention probabilities, which is a key factor when dealing with options. Video number 8, which is 18 minutes, is about selling naked calls. Anton says it is not useful and he does not recommend it. He calls it dangerous and I agree with him here. I personally won't sell naked puts or naked calls in any of my account. Now I might do that if I didn't have such a good alternative strategy. Video number 9 which is over 56 minutes long, Anton talks about covered calls and how they're good to use after your stock falls because it helps lower your cost basis and I disagree with this because it's not a good way to use the strategy. Because if your stock falls and you write a call, then you can be called out of your long position at a loss. See link number nine for more info. Covered calls and dividends. See link number 10 for more info and go 10 minutes and 40 seconds into the video. Now video number 10, which is over 38 minutes long, which is a covered call caller, now this is what Bernie Madoff said he was doing to earn 12% a year. Obviously this trade structure is not profitable in the long term. And puts are more costly than calls. Making selling a call to finance a put a debit transaction. Unless the put strike is too far away to properly protect the position. And for some reason Anton added this to his useful trades. And he actually likes it better than the covered call. See link number 11 for more information. Video number 11, which is over 50 minutes long, which is about portfolio hedging, which is really nothing special because hedging is just using a percentage of your portfolio and buying the S&P puts. See link number 12 for more info and start watching at 11 minutes and 30 seconds into that video. This ends video number two of my four-part video series of my in-depth review of Anton Creel's Professional Options Trading Masterclass. Be sure to be on the lookout for video number three.